Fun fact, my friend cut off two of his fingers with this knife. Mold is my favorite food group, that's what cheese is, right? Why is the camera on? I'm afraid. Why is it so cold? Son of a bitch, not a kid! Honestly, our friendship is really on the rocks this afternoon, but yeah, <laughs> let's do it. What up my pizza monster squad, my name is Robbie. I've been trying a lot of crafts and tips from the 5 Minute Crafts channel, and today I'm gonna try out some hacks from another great channel. <laughs> I'm talking Troom Troom. Since you guys know I love myself some pranks. No, I miss being single. This is the mother of my child. I Decided that I'm gonna try some of their pranks from the video 18 funny pranks prank prank wars Gee, I wonder if this is a video about pranks <laughs> But first let's read a couple comments on the video. I tried the black gel on my mother because she is not strict Strict but she noticed and she screamed like a monster and I was grounded for one month Oh, no, I hope I don't get grounded for a month. How can I remove the black gel from my brother's teeth? It looks like it's been six months and no reply I hope she figured it out. Roses are red, violets are blue, I have five fingers, and one is for you. I wonder which one they're talking about. Oh, maybe it's a thumbs up, like you guys should give this video. <laughs> Why don't you vroom vroom into a fire? Oh, that was a little mean. Why don't they speak? You should tell her the truth and give her the flip flops back. She'll be really happy. Well, obviously, Leah Kate, it's because they don't want you to know how old they are when they talk. The people in this video have faces like they could either be 15 or they could be like 30. Uh, I, I'm really at a loss with, with this one. <laughs> okay guys, now time to try some of these pranks. <laughs> Make a cut in a sponge. Take out a part of the abrasive layer. Add the black gel coloring in. Hot glue. She pours some dish soap on. Adds water and squeezes it. And she didn't expect that. She wanted to wash up dishes, but instead, dirty. We got our sponge. We got our knife. This is probably a little bit overkill for what I, I'm doing. So just go ahead and cut through like that. I didn't even need the knife for this. I do, however, need the hot glue gun. Whatever you guys do, don't show this to SpongeBob. <laughs> then we got our black icing that we're gonna put in here. Fun fact, my friend cut off two of his fingers with this knife, and now I call him Eight Finger McGee. All I need really is these scissors. Gonna fill this jelly donut with some fun juice. Okay, now we gotta hot glue it back together. It's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, only minus the peanut butter and the jelly and the sandwich. Second thought, nothing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now our sponge is all locked and loaded and ready to go. Bonnie, what the heck is up with all these fucking dishes? Uh, did people eat food in the house? Do your fucking dishes! Uh, uh, maybe I will. I'll do them right now. I know for a fact these are fucking mine, but I'll do them. Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. Dreams do come true. What is that? Is that dirty dishwater? What is that? What is that? Is that black? The Black Plague? What is that? <laughs> You've been pranked! What a fool I was! In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have used all black dishes for this. <laughs> I'm going to add a little sand to her drink. The sugar looks like sand. This is regular sand, and this is brown sugar. They look very much alike. Take her cup and add the special sand to her drink. She's at a loss. She doesn't know what to think. Everything becomes clear when she tastes her drink. Lonnie, I'm so sorry that I did all those mean pranks to you. Yeah, you're, you're really pissing me off. So I made you some coffee to make up for it. I do like coffee. Would you like some sand to go in your coffee? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You've been pranked the sugar! Holy shit. Doesn't taste like sand at all. Squeeze hot glue on a piece of plastic. Cut it out. Paint it with nail polish. Place an empty vial of the same nail polish. Add a dried brush. As soon as she goes out, place the fake pool of nail polish on her keyboard. She's horrified. But as soon as she touches the pool, her shock fades away. She sighs with relief. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need a hot glue gun and some nail polish. Oh, how much you guys know I love hot glue guns. <laughs> So I just go ahead and put some of this hot glue. I'm just gonna make it look like I got it all over, all over Lonnie's computer. Kind of make like a trail, kind of like it spilled like that. And that should be good. Now I gotta wait for this to dry. Okay, this is all dried now. Just gotta pick this stuff off. Now I need to paint it. Glob a lot of it on there. I think it's supposed to be done whenever it looks like you put nail polish on dog shit. Oh man, all this coffee inside my body makes me have to take a hot piss. Okay, boys, now it's time for me to strike. Okay, so Lonnie doesn't really have a laptop for me to spill stuff on, so I'm just gonna do it on his iMac. There we go, looks perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna make it look like I'm doing my nails on his computer, like any person would do. It looks perfect. 
I can never tell the difference. Okay, boys, I think I hear Lonnie coming. Hey guys, it's me, Lonnie coming. Oh, oh no, Lonnie! I'm so sorry! I was just doing my nails on your computer like best friends do, and I spilled it all over your iMac! This would be a pity if you didn't do this once a day. <laughs> Lonnie, I have something to tell you. It's a prank! This isn't real nail polish! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Just feels normal at this point. Do you want to get a snack? Offer your friend a special sandwich. Wrap a plain good sandwich in plastic wrap. Draw black spots on. They look like dirt or mold. She takes it eagerly at first, but gives it back as soon as she sees the disgusting spots on it. Your friend is shocked. How can I eat this stuff? I reveal the secret, and we laugh together. Hey Lonnie, I made you some lunch. Oh my god, this is so unexpected. I'm... What the f is that? <laughs> it's it's definitely mold. Do Why not... would you knowingly feed me mold? Do you not want it? I mean, mold is my favorite food group. That's what cheese is, right? <laughs> it was a prank. There's no mold on it at all. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna take that sandwich back now. What? But I'm hungry. <laughs> Squeeze black gel coloring into the center of the toothbrush near the base of the bristles. She brushes her teeth and suddenly sees herself in the mirror. She's shocked. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this one off. Okay, I'm gonna be really quiet about this. Oh shit. Insert that in there. I think I might have put a little too much. I'll never be able to tell the difference. Lonnie, huh? you need to brush your teeth after that sweet, sweet treat that I gave you earlier. You're probably right. I love oral hygiene as well as oral. I'm sure this will be fine. This, my toothbrush is here just like I left it. <laughs> just rinse this off incredibly thoroughly for no reason. What? I love activated charcoal toothpaste. I use it all the time. You've been praying! Son of a it's not a kid! Now you got black teeth! I'll pay her back. Let her turn the tap on. Cover it with a coin. Tape it to attach. She turns on the tap. A fountain! Water has splashed all over her dress. Now to f*** with the sink. Now we're gonna turn it on. Oh! It works! I mean... Oh, don't want Lonnie to hear me. I mean it works! Lonnie, you need How to... do you keep finding me in here? <laughs> This is, this is your room. That makes a lot of sense. Lonnie, don't your hands feel super, super gross from touching that uh, moldy sandwich? Yes, as a matter of fact, they do. You wanna go wash your hands, you dirty, dirty boy? No, just give him one of these, we're good. No, go wash oh, your okay, hands! Okay, fine, if you insist. God, I wonder what fresh <laughs> awaits me when I turn this sink on. What the f***? <laughs> now it looks like I wet my pants! And you wet your pants! We wet our pants together! Joke's on you, I actually just pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Unwrap the candies, put them away, replace them with big grapes. They look exactly like the candies. She thinks she's mistaken at first. There can't be a grape instead of a candy. So I'm just gonna undo all these candies. Okay, awesome. We don't need these anymore. Put these grapes in these little strawberry candies. I don't think Lonnie will ever tell the difference. Oh yeah, perfect replica. I kind of gave up on the last couple of them. Lonnie! I have a sweet, sweet, unhealthy treat for you. Why is the camera on? I'm afraid. Why is it so cold? Is this a raisin? The moistest raisin I've ever seen. Is your friend terrified of bugs? Offer for her to take a selfie. Tidy up her hair and carefully set a toy bug on her head. Doesn't notice anything at first. Then she turns her head and sees the bug. I never thought she could scream so loudly. <laughs> Perfect, the littlest spider. Hey Lonnie, would you be down to take a selfie with me? Honestly, our friendship is really on the rocks this afternoon, but yeah, let's do it. What could go wrong? Okay, Lonnie, are you ready to take the selfie? I'm ready. Oh, wait. One second. I have to fix your hair really quick. Understandable. I'm ready to take it. There's a bug up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there was already a bug up there. <laughs> oh no, there's a bug. I assume there's probably a bug. Something tells me. You've been pranked! Woman's intuition. Aren't you so spooked from that bug? Dang it! And heck, Robbie, you really are. Ooh, ah, but gouged. I'm taking your phone. No, that's my phone, I need that. <laughs> okay, so I have this jacket that Lonnie let me borrow a while ago, but before I give it back to him, I gotta do something to it. Attach double-sided tape to the inside. Press both sides to attach. Let her try to put on her jacket. Oh, God. So double-sided tape that big is actually kind of hard to find, so I'm gonna use some Gorilla Tape. Apparently you just get a lot of it. Now when he tries to zip it up, he'll be like, what the heck? 
Why can't I open it? Pat it down to make sure it stays. And I think we're all good to go. Hey Lonnie, so I know that I borrowed this jacket a while ago and I just wanted to give it back. <laughs> Here's your jacket, Lonnie. Seems harmless enough. What is this witchcraft? What have you done? Is this tape? Is this fucking tape? What is that? What is that tape? Checks out. You've been taped! I mean, you've been pranked! I'm moving out. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing 13 funny pranks by Troom Troom. Cut a can with a drink in it, pour out the beverage, trace it on a grapefruit, draw a smaller circle inside, cut out a hole and scoop out the flesh, pour orange juice into the empty grapefruit, and attach the stay tab opening. Take drinking straws and enjoy the juice. So first we gotta get our grapefruit. And then you gotta get your monster, which we all know hides under your bed. Then you gotta drink its sweet, sweet juices. Pour out its blood, and cheers. Then when you've siphoned all of his blood, you decapitate this bitch. This is very dangerous, please don't do this at home. Uh, don't need that anymore. It's time for brain surgery, Mr. Grapefruit. Just gotta be really gentle and this is gonna make such a sticky mess on my desk. Okay, now that we've gutted this pumpkin, it's time for a little cleanup. You didn't see anything. Grab the hot glue gun, which I don't think is gonna do anything because in the video when they're drinking from it, literally the top is falling off. Whatever, I'm not gonna fight you guys. You guys are the craft channel. I decided that I'm now a craft parody channel. Ah, fuck, that's so hot! Stick that on there, ow! This hot glue literally doesn't do anything. Even if I just put a lot on. This looks awesome. Let's go ahead and pump some blood back into this baby. Ooh, I can taste the hot glue. Oh, it's leaking. It's thing on me. If I put straws in it. Will that fix it? God, this is dripping everywhere. Let's go see if Tori wants some. Tori Bransky. Wanna try some of my sweet, sweet orange drink? Only if we get to share it like the lady in Tramp and you can uh, drink on the other okay, side. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. I hate grapefruit. I don't like it at all. That's disgusting. It tastes like a bad orange. Unwrap a chewing gum. Put a gum stick on a slice of bacon. Cut off the excess. Lock the bacon strip with a napkin. Wrap it in the foil instead of the chewing gum. Emma unwraps a chewing gum stick, but she finds a piece of bacon instead of the gum. Finally, I found a good way to tell Tori that I want her breath to smell like meat in the morning. We undo the package. Okay, so now we gotta get the bacon, which is being held captive by the monster in my closet. Ah! It's gonna reach that was a mission. Then we're gonna unwrap the bacon from our monster guts. Mmm, bacon. Pioneers used to eat this stuff raw. I mean, they did it in the video. And then cut it so that it'll fit inside the wrapper. Don't need that anymore. Carefully, carefully. This is perfect. It is bacon. Time to test this out on my girlfriend. Hey Tori, I got a nice, nice sweet treat for you. What is it? Meat flavored gum! What is this? It's bacon. Aren't you gonna eat it like they did in the video? Can I eat it? I don't know. I don't you... think it's safe because it's not cooked. Cut a red candle to fit the size of an empty lipstick tube. Pair the end of the candle so that it fits into the container. Put it into the tube. Why doesn't this lipstick work? And why is there a wick? Now it makes sense. For this one, we're gonna need a lipstick and a candle, but I couldn't find any of the skinny, long candles at the dollar store, so I just got this one. I can't seem to get the candle out, so uh, uh, let's see if Old Mother Earth could help. Always respect nature. Awesome, thanks Earth. Now we're gonna go ahead and whittle this down. You know, I always enjoyed whittling as a kid. I don't know whose great idea it was to give me a knife, but, <laughs> well, I haven't cut off a finger yet. Knock on wood, guys, knock on wood. Question, what parent is gonna let their kid whittle a candle down with a knife? Okay, I think this might actually work. Take the lipstick out, don't need that anymore. Out with the old, in with the new. What's weird is this kinda actually feels like lipstick. Oh wow, it, it actually went back in. Cut off the extra tip. This was such an easy prank. Hey, Lonnie. You seem to have forgot your lipstick in my room. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this just isn't a fucking craft if I've ever seen one. Is good lipstick? No, it's a crayon, bud. It's a prank! It's a candle! Ew. 
<laughs> That's gross. I mean, oh, I'm mad! Uh, I was pranked. How could I have been such a fool? Cut out a knife using a template from a book board. Make a slanting cut across the middle of the blade. Wrap it with a few layers of foil. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the edges. Wrap a part of the blade on the handle with foil. Make a knife handle from soft clay. Wrap up the cardboard with it. Double-sided tape to the cross cut of the blade. Activate a broken screen app. We're gonna start off with our cardboard. Get our knife. Draw the outline of the knife. This is gonna turn out perfect. And my, my marker's dead. This looks like exactly what we need. Then we gotta cut out our outline. Oh yeah, I can't tell the difference at all. Well, looks like I don't need this anymore. So now we're gonna get our tin foil and wrap it around this, I guess. You guys ever hear of the tin foil ball challenge? Uh, this is like the same thing. Oh, I forgot the hot glue. Hopefully this keeps it all together. It's pretty promising. It's, it's, it's like, oh, hot glue. Wrap that tip. This looks like a perfect knife. Now we gotta add the handle. They said to use some clay to make it look like a good handle. This is the most handle looking handle I've ever seen. I don't know how Lonnie's ever not gonna believe that this isn't a knife. I can definitely see this being a knife. This is a pretty good knife if you ask me. Now we have to cut it in half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my phone to throw Lonnie off. That looks like it'll work. I'm holding a phone that has a phone screen. I could almost just do this. I don't even have to install this app. Let's take our double-sided tape. We just tape it on just like that. Look at, uh, nope. Maybe if I just use some regular tape to hold it on, that'll work. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now for the other side. How am I supposed to tape this? Okay. Oh no. And now we have the thumbnail. Time to test this out on Lonnie. Lonnie, Lonnie! I have a confession. I was running with the knife and I tripped and I stabbed your phone. Why did you have my phone? It's totally stabbed. It's totally real. Why did you? I'm convinced. There's Pokemon Go on there and everything. Robbie, this is not my phone. Uh, oh, uh, this is, oh, I mean, I tripped it on my phone. That sucks, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's catching on to me. I, I tripped on my, my phone. You sure did. <laughs> Warning tape and a wax crayon. Wrap all furniture in the room and take away the toy. Redhead gets into the room. Oh no, my teddy bear. Redhead rushes up to the teddy bear body outline. Who could do this? Life is so cruel. I will take revenge for you, baby. So for this one, instead of pretending that my girlfriend's teddy bear got stolen, I'm pretending her cat got stolen. This is gonna be the best prank ever against Tori. You ready for this, Thomas? You're gonna help me with this. So I need you to lay down and I'm just gonna outline you with tape. No, Thomas, you need to come back. Thomas! Now lay down, right here, just lay down. I just need to put tape around you. We need this to prank Tori. Oh, I was so close. Can you just stay there like that? But I promise I'm not doing anything weird, Thomas. Oh, he moved again. I'm just gonna do what the closest I can to an outline of Thomas. Okay, I'm all done. Do you guys wanna see? And here it is in all of its glory. So I don't actually have any regular caution tape, but I do have this caution construction tape. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this all around my room and make it look like Thomas has been murdered. You're just hiding underneath the desk, aren't you, buddy? You look like you hate me. This is a crime scene, everyone. Don't enter this caution area. Tori Dabransky, Tori Dabransky. I have some awful news. What have? Tori, this is serious. Come look! Tori Dabransky, be very careful. This is, is a crime scene, okay? Robbie, you're- Tori, what? This is serious! Your cat's missing! You have way too much time on your hands, Robbie. Thomas is missing! That's his outline! Where did he go? No, he's- he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is serious! Construction area. What are you constructing, Robbie? I'm not constructing- did the police put that here? Thomas, come here! Shh. Nothing will bring back your kitty. Except for maybe yeah, doing that. Stop it. But he's right there. I don't he, he's dead. <laughs> they moved the body. <laughs> You've been pranked. Your cat's not dead. Oh, what? My cat's not dead. Oh, you, you got me so good. I, I really thought he was missing. Cut the bristles off an old toothbrush. Cut a jaw-shaped gummy in half. And attach the half of the gummy teeth to the toothbrush using edible glue. It must be a special limited collection for vampires. So I'm going to be honest, guys. I went to Walmart. I went to the dollar store. I couldn't find any gummy teeth. How? It was just Halloween. So I guess I'm going to have to find another way to do this. Tori Dabransky. I have another special request for you. What is it? I need you to punch me in the face. Oh, I gladly do that. Okay, Tori, I'm ready. 
Thank you, cute girl, for helping me with this. You're welcome. Okay, so we got our teeth, and we got our toothbrush. Oh no, this is gonna be so messy. Oh no. They made it look so easy. I don't even know if this is worth a joke. This looks disgusting. Break out our hot glue gun. Oh yeah, that definitely looks disgusting. Okay guys, so now that we have our nightmare fuel, it's time to test it out on Lonnie. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to brush your teeth? After that Crayola crayon lipstick, I'm down. Hey Lonnie, does anything seem weird about your toothbrush? There's a little bit of hairs on top of the four molars I keep on there for some reason. <laughs> You've been pranked! It's literally a tooth brush! Son of a bitch, that's great. Cut off the bottom of a toothpaste tube and take out the paste. Clean the tube and fill it with cream. Wrap the cut with parchment paper and seal it using an iron. Oops! This paste tastes like milk. Okay, so we got our toothpaste. Snip that. There's so much toothpaste in here. This feels so wasteful. I wonder if I blow on this end if it'll start coming out. <laughs> Oh, holy shit, it worked. I'm a family channel now. Now we gotta fill this hole with cream. Whoa. Mmm, <laughs> minty. I think I just ate a bristle from earlier. Now I gotta go ahead and fill this up with glue. And uh, I think that's so as good as we're gonna get. Well, I don't have another toothbrush, so I guess we're committing to this. I gotta, I can't have dirty teeth all day. Oh, okay, this looks normal. <laughs> There's nothing wrong here. You've been pranked. I put whipped cream in it. No, are you actually gonna- No, don't do that! Don't- that's disgusting! How about we just hang this up on our wall? I'll hang it right in your bathroom for you. How does that sound? It honestly makes me want to be sick. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we are doing 42 holy grail hacks that will save you a fortune by 5 Minute Crafts. Are you guys ready to make some crafts? Cause I sure am. We got our whiteboard, our permanent marker. Oh no, my fingernails are dirty. I know how much you guys love that. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash these bad boys really quick. Just gotta get up in I'm there. I'm gonna keep scrubbing these until they're clean. Okay, that should be good enough. Put you back right where I found you. There, is that good enough for you guys? Okay, let's get on with the video. Oh no, now my board's gonna stay this forever. So we just go ahead and write over it. You guys didn't see anything. There's nothing here. I'm gonna use an old sock to wipe it clean. Wow! This is so clean! You can barely tell that I love men! Do it one more time for the for the wraparound. Kind of get all the little spots. Let's see if that works. And I think we did it! So this one works! I just need to write something on my shampoo bottle really quick. Oh no! Oh, I'm tripping! Oh, oh no! No! What have I done? I wrote all over the shower wall! It's okay guys, I know a good life hack for this. Looks like we're gonna need this bad boy again. Put the toothpaste on. Man, I'm so excited for all these. Your sink is so fucking dirty, comments. Okay, so we gotta try and... Is it coming off? Oh boy, here we go, come on. Okay, it's slowly coming off. Oh man, this is so much work. Okay, I think I might know a better solution. There we go. If you guys want these, they're only $2. Uh, link description down below. So for this one, I'm gonna use this t-shirt that I got when I was in San Diego for that uh, crafting convention. This one was actually signed by Five Minute Crafts themselves. I feel like the shirt would have been worth more if uh, if I didn't get this signed. So we'll just go ahead and add some of this hand sanitizer. But I guess you're supposed to blot it like this. I think I might have put a little too much hand sanitizer. And that says I'm supposed to use baking soda, but all I have is regular soda. Let's pour that on there. I really hope this doesn't f up my shirt even more. Also, I don't have any lemon juice, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this grapefruit from my last video. <laughs> Uh, squeeze that on there. Uh, don't need this anymore. Gonna need this bad boy again. Then we just kind of scrub, scrub, scrub. Uh, man, this is actually kind of gross. Maybe more hand sanitizer. Now I guess it's time to wash it. Just gonna clean up this mess using the same shirt. Please ignore the giant pile of trash in our washroom. Two hours later. Okay, this bad boy is fresh out of the oven. Let's see what the results are. Well, uh, it doesn't look like it worked. Maybe if I didn't use real soda instead of baking soda, it would have, but... I don't know. You 
Okay, so I'm not gonna do this one because A, it's just a coat hanger, and B, why would I wanna see the bottoms of your dirty ass shoes? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna try and recreate the thumbnail. I don't think my phone is quite cracked enough, so I'm gonna need the help from this magic crystal. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. Oh, thank you, magic crystal. You know what? Let's just do one more for good measure. Okay, that looks like a properly smashed phone. Now we're gonna do exactly what they did in the thumbnail and try to erase it. Work! Erase the cracks! Go in there! Yeah, guys, I'm starting to think that uh, this isn't gonna work. Okay, guys, so now it's time for me to try and open this can with this spoon. Okay, so I don't really know particularly how they did it. This is very difficult. Mm. Ah. Open! <sighs> okay, maybe. Uh. So they just kind of did this. Uh. Open! <laughs> Open! Fuck, I bent it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try another spot. Oh. Okay, I think this is gonna take a while. I think I'm making some progress. I think it might be possible. Open up! I feel like I'm getting closer to opening this can of olives that I really want to open. You wanna tag me in? All right, let's go. Try and right. open this can. All right. Isn't this awful? I don't. Did you? I don't think so. It might be like weak, like right in this spot. I feel like it's freezing. Right in it? Trying to get out of jail, like with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Canshaw Redemption. Who didn't like pinky? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Dabs you right in the hand. Oh, good thing this is a spoon. Hold on, this might be the real hack. What if we use the other side? I was thinking of that, actually. I feel like the can's just getting really bent up. Let's ask Lottie if he can do it. Hey, Lonnie. Nondog. Toy, perfect! We're trying to open this can of olives with a spoon. Why do you only, why? Do you just need it open? We have a can opener. Well, I, I just wanted to try it. This is our progress. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is so scary. <laughs> I can't do this. Why a spoon though? Why not? Because we have tools to open cans. We don't need to use a spoon, Robbie. I'm gonna try it again, here, okay. Whoa! Maybe we put that spoon down. No, like sharpen this. <gasps> we totally could. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna just sharpening it on the ground because I don't have a real sharpening stone. I'm gonna try it against the wall. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Tori, we already made that joke. And ah! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I didn't cut myself. Okay, I think that's a little sharper. We're gonna try this again. Oh! 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 We opened it! I'm so happy the prison spoon worked. <laughs> now I can escape from prison with my can of olives. This actually like almost cut off the thumb with that, so be careful. With a spoon? No, with a can. Cause they're really sharp, so be careful. Ugh. Hey Tori, cancel my other plans. I have a date with these olives. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. I don't think that was supposed to happen. If I can get one all of that, I'll be happy. I did it! I freaking did! You want an olive? No, I'm good. Well, these are all for me then. Got our pliers, got our fork. You know, they said to bend it down so that the last one, ooh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> That's what I get for using a fork from the dollar store. I think it's about to break off. Oh, it, yep, that broke off. That's completely broken. They said to do it the other way, but I think it would be more effective if we did it like this. Hey, do you guys have anything that needs to be screwed? You could use this. A wall socket? Maybe not actually, okay, let's find something else. Well, Tori, I think you're right. It's our only option. No, 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 no. No. Robbie, you're gonna electrocute yourself. What am I gonna screw that? Maybe I should just try dismantling my bed. So we're just gonna go put it in here. Well, I guess this is a bust. This thing looks like a nightmare if it ever fell. I'm sorry, Tori. Yeah, we just lost Thomas. 
the clock fell on him. <laughs> oh no, poor Thomas. need another fork because apparently these guys love abusing forks. So we bend it just like this, like this. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. maybe I shouldn't have gotten the forks from the dollar store. Bend this like this. Oh, oh that's about to break. It goes onto this plate just fine though, so I think that's all that matters. I actually don't have any stick candles, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this blowtorch to heat up the prongs really good, and then I'm just gonna take the cinnamon candle that I made for another craft and kind of just stick it on there and hope that that works. Uh, here goes nothing. Am I the only one who's kind of scared for my life here? Probably because you guys are behind the camera. Stick that on, hopefully it'll go in. Oh, I think it's working! I really can't believe that this is actually working. And we got it! We got ourselves a perfectly... Ah, f that's hot. We got ourselves a perfectly good levitating candle. Let's go ahead and light this bad boy. This is extremely festive. Go ahead and use Tori's shoe for this because I'm the best boyfriend ever. Get the old toothbrush. Is that looking cleaner? I guess a little bit. It looks like I gotta get it really soapy, so I gotta put a lot on there. Okay, I scrubbed that pretty good. We'll just go ahead and wipe off all the toothpaste. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about this one. So this was what her shoe looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. I mean, I guess it's a little better. All right, time to abuse some more forks. I know they used a couple spoons in the video, but I, I forgot to buy spoons. I don't think that's right. So we got our base fork like this, and we're gonna have another base fork like that. Hey guys, editing Robbie here. I just wanna know, what the heck is a base fork? Oh, I guess that's what that is. Can we make another one for the other side? Bend all these bad boys in. Oh, I think I broke his fingers. Yeah, that that should that should work. Oh no, I gave him two left hands. Okay, wait, never mind. I think I solved my problem. I just love blowing this little man. This is starting to look pretty terrifying. Sometimes I feel like Five Bet Crafts just needs to change their name to uh, uh, How to Make Nightmare Fuel. Now we gotta give this guy some legs. I think he would stand up a lot better if we did it like we did it like that. Oh man, this is starting to look so weird. Hot glue is cooled down. Let's see if uh, he stands by himself. Oh wow, he did it! Good job! I didn't think he'd actually stand by himself. That's crazy. Let's see if this guy will hold some salt and pepper. Okay, you can do it, little guy. I believe in you. Oh, sh I feel like he's struggling a little bit. Okay, so he's actually doing it. Well, congrats, little guy. You are now our new salt and pepper holder for the rest of your life. Well, keep up the great job. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what putting toothpaste in your shoe is supposed to do, but we're gonna try it. Maybe it makes them smell better or something? I, I really don't know. So I'll put some toothpaste in one, no toothpaste in the other. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the shoe with no toothpaste in it. Oh, yep, smells like feet. Now time to try this one. I mean, it still smells like feet, but with toothpaste added, uh... Hey, can one of you guys smell my shoes for me? Sure, bring him here. Okay, so I need you to smell this one first. Okay, it smells like a foot. That's what I was saying! Okay, now smell this one. This one does smell a little bit better, but I think it's because of the toothpaste. I think I'm just smelling the toothpaste. Almost exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Aaron, do you care to give my shoe a good smell? Give it a good sniff? Give, give my shoe a good sniff? It's, it smells like a shoe. Okay, we're gonna put that one down. Oh, sorry, Thomas. Okay, smell this one now. <laughs> it smells like a shoe with toothpaste. That's exactly what I was saying! <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this one is busted. And our pillowcase. Tori's gonna love our new pillow. <laughs> you ever been like trick or treating? It's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how Tori reacts to the new pillow. Tori Bransky, I got you a new gift. What is it? It's a new pillow. Why is only half of it filled? It's your new pillow. Do you want to try it out? I mean, I can. Want me to lay on my floor? Lay on your floor! It's good? You like the pillow? I mean, it's not bad. I feel like you would like this. It's pretty firm. I have a confession. What? That pillow, <laughs> would you believe me if I told you, is filled with trash bags. Yeah, I could hear it. <laughs> I believe it. I mean, it's not bad for it being trash bags. 
<laughs> but it's also not very good because now I have an indent where my head is and it's touching the floor. Wait, we need to do what the girl does. It's so nice. Am I selling it? Oh, yeah. We just need a really hot girl to advertise our new pillow. Trash pillow. So this is the last one. We're gonna need a tube of toothpaste. And I guess we just snip the end off. Then we grab our soap dispenser. I already cleaned it out. Hopefully I don't have any more soap stuck in this. <laughs> it doesn't really go on as cleanly as it did in the video. Maybe if I hot glue it on, that'll help. Okay, it looks great. Time to test this baby out. Okay, I got my dispenser and my toothbrush. Let's try this. Oh, that is definitely a lot of soap already. Come on, I need to brush my teeth. Okay, it's starting to work. It is a little messy though. It is coming out of the top. But it's working. Okay, that should be enough toothpaste for me. Now it's time to brush my teeth. A little soapy. Not bad though. This toothbrush, it really works miracle. Better put this back where I got it so I can use it for next time. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing some kitchen hacks. So many crafts, so little time! This one goes out to a little thing I call crafts. I don't know how to play the guitar. Okay guys, so this first part, I don't know if I can do this first part. <laughs> this hack is breaking my kitchen. So in the hack, it looked like they used a red apple. I don't know if a green apple, if it really matters, but we just, there we go. I'll see you boys in a bit. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, let's see how our apples look it. Okay, this is interesting. It's frozen solid. Let's just go ahead and put this outside to thaw out a little bit. Okay, I'll see you in about an hour, Apple. One hour later. Okay, time to see how our friend's doing. Mr. Apple. Are you done with your time in the sun? No, please, I'm not ready to go back. Take that as a yes. It's time for the big moment, boys. It's time for the thumbnail. We're just gonna try and squeeze it. Is it gonna work? Come on. Oh. <gasps> It's actually working! There's actually juice coming out of this. That's crazy! It works, guys! It works! This hack involves one of my favorite things ever. You guessed it. Tin foil. You can use it to make hats that you can use to read people's minds. Just kidding. I'm talking about bacon. So what I'm gonna do is put this side with the normal tin foil and do this one where you fold it zigzag. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it right here. That way it can fit. I hope this kind of looks like one of those things that you put on your window so the sun doesn't get in. Oh my gosh, it does. Okay, now let's put the bacon on. How the heck can there be so much glory in so little space? I really feel like this isn't gonna do anything. 375. It looks like these little piggies aren't going to the market today. Later. All right, boys, it's bacon time. Okay, so it does look like this one is a little bit more covered in grease, and this one is a little bit cleaner. I uh, I am noticing a little bit of a difference here. Ooh, that is some nicely cooked bacon, actually. Not bad. I'm gonna have to blot some of this grease off here. So I think that this method works better if you want like floppy bacon, and this one's better for like crispy bacon. So I guess we could say it works. Okay, so we got our bag full of water. We go and we take our skewers like this, kind of, maybe like like this. Wrap this baby around. I don't know how practical this really is. I really hope this works because I actually have a water bottle that I use every day and uh, ice doesn't fit in it, so this would be nice. Okay, now we're all done with this. Just gotta make some room in the freezer for these bad boys. Now carefully transplant the organ. Oh no, oh no. Get in there. Okay, now we gotta wait for these bad boys to freeze. So it's been a little over a day since I put those in the freezer and this is the result. So they look pretty solid. Um, I feel like these might be able to fit in my water bottle. This is the ultimate water bottle test here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take some of these stick things off. So now, 
Okay, so that one doesn't fit in the water bottle at all. We got one winner. Wow, okay. So I definitely see a lot of potential in this one. The only problem is it's a little hard to determine what makes them smaller or not. I think it would be really cool if they just made plastic bags where you could just fill them up with water and then make them into like giant icicles for your water bottle. That would be a really smart idea. I should patent that. I would definitely buy something like that. That is such a freaking good idea. So the first thing we're gonna need is a drill. Then we're gonna need an elbow pipe. You would not believe how hard it was to actually find one of these that would fit over this at Home Depot. Let's put this onto here. There we go, that went on. Oh no, <laughs> I just crushed it. And just to be safe, I got our old friend, Mr. Hot Glue Gun, to help us out. Really don't want this to come off. Well, I'm putting my meat through this tube. God, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> yeah, drill a hole in the back of this guy. A little bit of plastic everywhere, no big deal. You gotta make sure it's big enough for our stick to go through. It's perfect, it fits perfect. Then we go ahead and cut this bad boy. Now we got our meat, let's go ahead and try to put it in this tube thing. God, this is so gross. I think this is still good. I'm sorry to all you vegetarians that are watching this. Okay, we got about half a pound of ground beef in there. Okay, so we got our can, then we gotta push it out like this. I kinda hope that this works actually. Ugh. I have to put my whole body into this. I hope I don't crush the can. Ugh. Okay, it's coming out. I think it's actually working. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to see stars. I'm starting to see stars. I got meat juice all over me. This is so gross. Uh, it's starting to come out the bottom. Just gonna put all that back in there. Maybe if I put more meat in there. This is so excessive. I could have just rolled the beef onto the stick at this point. Ah. 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 Yep, that can is... This was way harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this one doesn't work, okay guys? Okay boys, now it's time to make a bottle funnel thing. So it looks like they did kind of like this bad boy, something like this, and then another bad boy like like this. I'm just making predictions here. I don't really know. Keep going like that. Oh, that's straight. Straight enough. So they used an X-Acto knife for this part, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife and also this blowtorch to heat up the knife to cut through it like butter, uh, as we learned in that one hack. I might have to get another blowtorch soon. I use this one so much. Okay, use the old fashioned way and just cut it. Some of these crafts are so dangerous. Please don't cut off my finger. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Maybe if I heat it up with a blowtorch. Okay, it is bright red now. Please don't burn slash cut me. Okay, it's working. Woo! We did it! Then apparently you need to do something to like the edge right here for some reason. Oh god, I'm just scared I'm gonna melt it. I'm not even gonna bother with this part. Then I take the top off. I'm gonna use some prongs for this because I don't wanna touch this. Oh, well, it's still hot. I gotta do this. Oh, this is so scary. Maybe I shouldn't use a blowtorch for this. I have returned with my lighter. Okay. This is a lot less threatening and I appreciate this. Is it gonna work? I feel like I shouldn't use the pointy end. I'm sure with some practice I might be able to get this one, but it doesn't look like it wants to work. I just need the tip, come on. Well, I guess that's all we're getting. Okay, so apparently then we just pull this over like this and then <laughs> it's not fitting. Well. I guess that works. This hack is so funny. It's like, hey guys, did you know that you can use a big Coke bottle to refill a little Coke bottle with a big Coke bottle? Honestly, this handle doesn't help at all. It would be better just to hold it down like this. Well, yep, it appears to be working. Now let's hope that uh, this isn't too much Coke. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Well guys, it works. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need the knife and my trusty dusty blowtorch. We're also gonna need one of these plastic bags. I don't even know why I bother getting the cutting board out because it's not long enough. I'm just imagining all the little kids being like, hey mom, where's the blowtorch? Kids 
Just don't play with blow torches. This is stupid. I saw a comment the other day. It was like, kids, don't try this at home. And then someone's like, okay, I won't do it at home. I'll do it at a park. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I don't know if it actually sealed or not. It is a little crooked. I will point that out. I can smell the plastic burning. I might have melted the countertop a little bit, but it, it's fine. I guess it's time to fill this fun bag up with soda. No, 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 no. This tried to explode on me. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than they made it look. Please don't spill. Oh no, it's leaking. Okay, so let's try another one. Oh, this one's also leaking. No, 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 no. I will try every single one of these until one works. Are you working? I think we may have just found ourselves a winner. Nope, this one is also leaking. Fourth time is a charm. I just cleaned this whole kitchen for the video. This one is also leaking. Fifth time is a charm. A perfect little spout. <laughs> Thank you to anyone who is watching this video who said bless you. So maybe the last one will work? I have faith in you. Come on, work, please. <gasps> Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Throw a little stick in there. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's toss this in the fridge. Actually, I'm gonna wrap this in napkins because I'm scared that it's gonna leak all over my freezer. My floor's so <laughs> sticky. Put this in the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and hide it in this little nook right here and hopefully no animals touch it. So this is our homemade Polar Pop. Let's see how it turned out. <laughs> this is so sad. Only this much of the Coke actually stayed inside of it. I guess that means that the rest of it is all inside my freezer. <laughs> oh no, it looks like I have a mess to clean up later. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna give this a try with the lighter first, and then after that, we're gonna try the blowtorch. <laughs> really hope this doesn't shatter on me. Is it gonna work? This is so scary. It's just getting really black. Okay, apparently it might not have worked because I was holding it outside, so we're gonna try and hold it on a table this time, just like it was in the video. Here we go, guys. Come on, heat up. I'm just hiding way down here, guys, so I don't get hurt. I'm not feeling too good about this one. I don't think this is gonna work, so I'm gonna try the blowtorch. Oh God. Oh god, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. Woo! It worked! Holy <laughs> It worked! Woo! We did it! Who wants wine? I don't drink. Oh, it's making a sound. You guys hear that? It's from where it's boiling, where it's hitting the bottle. That is so funny. Wow, it actually works! You just need a <laughs> blowtorch! Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need a big Coke bottle and a little Coke bottle. I haven't drinking all this Coke yet though, so. Oh, I really don't wanna waste it, but I really don't wanna drink this. Ugh. Okay, so first we gotta cut the big one in half. I just gotta put this in here, and I gotta put this stick through the plastic. How'd that make it look so easy? I'm good, I'm good. That was very close though. These crafts are so unsafe. Woo! Almost cut myself again. This is so dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my knife again. Please just melt through. I don't wanna stab myself. Okay, that's a lot better. I gotta poke it through that hole right there. Uh, this is as good as we're gonna get, I think, uh, without me cutting off my finger. Cut this orange in half. Now we're gonna try and not get this orange in my cut because that's gonna burn really badly. Okay. I think it's working. It's actually working. This is so overly complicated. It would just be easier to like squeeze it yourself. I get so much more juice just doing this. This is our progress so far. This is really starting to make me appreciate all the work that goes into making orange juice. We only got that much out of this whole orange. I don't know if this works or not. I really don't think it does. Make some pancakes. So we grab our bowl. How much does it say that this needs? One cup of golden malted flour. I really don't want to make a whole cup of pancakes. This seems like it's gonna be way too much. Oh well. One egg. 
three fourths a cup of milk. That's half, and I guess half of this because I don't have a three fourths cup. And a tablespoon of butter. Mix, 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 mix the pancakes, mixing up away. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. I'm so gay. It's really got to steer it up there. This is requiring so much mixing. I wonder if this funnel that we made earlier will work for pancakes. Well, only one way to find out. This is our oddly clean ketchup bottle. I feel kind of guilty because I emptied out all the ketchup in this and it was pretty much full. Sorry roommates, I owe you more ketchup. This handle still sucks ass. So we'll try just a tiny bit. Oh sh Oh yeah, it's kind of working. It's just gonna take a really long time for it all to go in. Okay. This sh Try and fit this into this tube. It's kind of working. And this literally looks like a giant thing of mayonnaise. I kind of want to throw up. Yep, pancake batter definitely doesn't taste as good as regular cake batter. Well, I guess it's time to test this out. This is gonna be so weird. Butter, butter, butter. This is a no-stick pan with butter on it. There's no way pancakes are sticking onto this baby. Okay, so we'll just, uh, ready? Oh, that's not bad. It's kinda, that's pretty convenient. I could get behind this. And it clogged. It already clogged. Just little tiny pancakes like that. Oh no, this is gonna morph into a big one. I guess it's convenient if you make pancakes a lot, you can just put it in like a bottle and be like, well, I'll make it three pancakes today. All done. Just little tiny pancakes like that. Oh no, this is gonna morph into a big one. Ooh, these are not bad looking pancakes. You know what? I think I might be digging this. It looks like it works. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this. Here we go. Let's hope I don't die from this. Okay, ready? You can't even see the fire. Oh, I burned my microphone. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh shit. Well, that was fucking stupid kids. Never do that at home or at a park or at a friend's house. Where do you guys keep coming up with these places? Today, we're doing some glue hacks. My five minute crafts. So for this one, I actually don't have a printer to print out the Eiffel Tower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace it off one of my screens really quick. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, look, it's me. I'm gonna go ahead and move this because it's a little disorientating. <laughs> tape the wax paper onto here. The tape isn't sticking to the parchment paper. Why? Oh, because it's parchment paper. That's why. This should be correct. And I am now done tracing the Eiffel Tower. Now let's try and make some beautiful glue art. This is so freaking complicated. Okay, so I just have to make four of these bad boys. This is my all-time favorite biggest waste of hot glue. Okay, so this is all dry. Time for the second one. Okay, this one's also dry. Two more to go. This one's all dry now. <sighs> now time for the last one. Can't wait for this to be over if I'm being honest. Okay, so it looks like our last one is all dry. There is no way that this is going to stand up straight. Holy shit. It's gonna be so fucking floppy. Do I just hold it straight the whole time? You know what? I think it might actually stay up. I I've lost all hope in humanity. Ah! Woo! 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 You can do it, Eiffel Tower. I kind of believe in you. Ow, 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 Okay, we're good. I'm definitely not gonna do a hot glue gun video again for a while, guys. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. I know you guys like to see me burn myself. Ah! If you guys want to watch another video of me burning myself, you can also click the card over here. Uh, that one's a fun one. Almost done. I just have this one last side. Woo! I think the hardest part about this is I can't tell what glue is still hot and what isn't hot. And we're done, guys! It actually stands up. How? How is that possible? It's kind of looking more like the Leaning Tower of Pisa than it is the Eiffel Tower. I'll say that it kind of works, but I kind of hate this. I think I'm gonna give this to my buddy Rusty uh, to help him remember the, the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Rusty, I have a gift for you. And yes, what is that? Here we go! <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool, man. It's an Eiffel Tower made out of hot glue to help you remember the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. How much time did you spend on this? Uh, a lot, and I got a third degree burn right here. Good job. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad, man. Maybe I can scrape it off with this knife. Get off of my desk. There we go, clean this up a little bit. So for this one, we're gonna need a glass Coke bottle and some condoms. Ooh, cheap dollar store condoms. I'm so risky because I have these. You guys are so funny because Tori used a in one of her videos and you guys are like, why do you have a condom? Tori 
me are virgins. So we would never use a condom. This is really gross if you think about it, because now you're just gonna get lube all up in your Coke bottle. Put the glue in. I'm gonna need so much glue for this. I think it's also gonna melt the condom. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just filling this condom up with this beautiful hot liquid. I've used three glue sticks on this. I kind of hope it works. Okay, guys, I've been laying this dry for about 20 minutes now. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it out. Is it gonna come out? Oh, it did! I still think it's gross that there's lube all over the bottle now. That's good, it didn't melt the c So does it go back in? Oh no. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. It went back in. Okay, so this looks like a good quark so far. It's a little looser than I think a quark should be, but uh, maybe it'll work. We're gonna go ahead and put some water into this bottle, and I'm getting this everywhere. Put the quark back in. Huh, uh, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tip it over and see if it works. Over my head. Ah, getting wet! Oh, I got lube water all over me! That's so gross! I really don't think this works very well. So I'm not exactly sure what putting uh, hot glue on your nails is gonna do, but uh, let's try it. I hope this isn't too painful. Ow! 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 This was an awful idea. Five minute crafts, why do you want me to do this? Okay, so we got our phone, got our cling wrap. This stuff still gives me anxiety. Wrap our phone in cling wrap. Where is the beginning to this thing? Where the fuck is it? I don't know where to start. There's no good start with cling wrap. Who invented this sh Apparently cling wrap used to be even more clingy. I would kind of hate that because this is already super clingy, but it's not clingy enough. I don't know. This just seems awful because it just sticks to itself. Oh my god. Now it's sticking to my phone. Okay, good enough. I guess we just cut it. I feel like this is gonna crack my screen or something with how hot the glue is gonna get potentially. Well, we'll see. Glue, glue, glue my phone, glue it all together. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make a phone case better. This is stupid, I'm bad at rhyme. I would say that I'd do a stress test using this phone case, but I kinda don't wanna destroy my phone cause I'm sort of running out of phones. What pattern did she do? Let's see. So she went like that. Oh, I wasn't supposed to get it on the camera. Oh, shit. I hope this still works. So I'm supposed to go around the camera like that. Do like a spider web looking thing. I don't care who you are. If you have a hot glue phone case, there's obviously something wrong with you. Unless you like this kind of stuff, then there's nothing wrong with you. You're a beautiful snowflake and that should be celebrated. Preferably by getting a new phone case because this one is shit. I shouldn't be so hard on this thing because I haven't really seen it in action. So mine is definitely a lot less clean than the one in the video. I'm so freaking good at crap. Ah, fuck me. I burned myself again. I think this is gonna be the last time I do a hot glue gun video for a while because I kind of hate this. Okay, let's see. Is this dry? The best way to tell if your glue is dry is just by touching it because there's nothing unsafe about that. And we gotta do the sides. Just gonna keep putting glue all over this phone. Oh no, I glued my phone to my desk. Ow, and I burned myself again. I truly am the master of using a hot glue gun. Oh no. Oh, I feel like this isn't gonna work. I feel like I'm just dumb. How is it not supposed to stick to the cling wrap? Or to my desk? How is it not supposed to stick to my desk? If only my mom could see me now. Look at all the crafts I've made. Man, if I were to tell my five-year-old self that I'm still doing crafts as a 24-year-old, he'd probably believe me because the crafts are pretty damn fun. Except using hot glue guns. Hot glue guns are kind of sh I wonder if I even used a hot glue gun as a five-year-old. I feel like I didn't. I just have a long piece of like hot glue sticking to my hand. I feel like Spider-Man right now. <sighs> ah! I glued my phone to my hand. I mean, I guess it isn't like it isn't glued to my hand already. Do you get it? It's like a we're slaves to technology joke. I feel like we're almost done. Probably one more stick of hot glue and we should be done. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour it all on there. There we go. We're gonna let this dry for a little bit and uh, see how the phone turned out. Fucking hot glue is stuck on my desk. I'll see you guys in a minute. So the glue is all dried now. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take this off. Oh wow, that came off a lot easier than I thought it would. Not bad. Woo! We did it! Now to try and get this cling wrap off. Oh, yep, just as I thought. The cling wrap has melted to the hot glue. This is the most ugly phone case I've ever seen. No, I'm not feeling this at all. This is awful. Maybe if I cut this so that you can see the screen a little better. This definitely looks a little bit more like a phone case. So we put this on. This honestly feels so awful in my hands. I kind of hate this. So this was the phone case that actually came with this phone that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and compare. This is what it looks like with just a regular phone case. And this is a hot glue gun phone case. I mean, I think it might protect your phone. Hot glue. Normal phone case. I'm gonna be really neutral on this because I feel like I could have done a better job on this, but also it is a hot glue phone case, so uh, I can only think of one thing that would make this phone case better. Boom! Stickers! If you guys want any of the sick merch, there's a card right here and also link down in the description down below.
Okay, boys, I brought my flippy floppies. Now it's time for me to write my very important message. Okay, so I guess we'll start on the... Is this the right foot? You, I bet you guys already know what I'm gonna write. Go back and watch more of my videos, especially my last glue video, because that one's a good one. Yes, this looks great! Next one. I love men. We're looking pretty freaking golden right now. Okay, guys, now it's time to try these babies out. So I have my beautiful girlfriend, Toy Nebraska, here. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and wear these and wander into the desert, and after five minutes, she's gonna try and find me. I don't know if it's gonna work, because the ground's really rock. No, this is our beach. We're at a beach, Tori. Oh. See all the sand? This is... This this is where we are. We're, we're in the we're in the sand. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I'm probably cringing out so many of you guys because I'm wearing socks with sandals. She has a timer for five minutes. Ready? And go. Okay, close your eyes, Tori. I'll put down the bar. Okay, so one thing I realized about two minutes into my journey, since I put I love men the right way, it doesn't say I love men correctly. Man, I'm just so freaking good at crafts. I wish that he left his keys here so I could seal his car. Sebastian, what if you just never like went out and looked for him? You just took his car, just drove back home. Tori's over there. Let's see if she can find me. My big pile of rocks, collecting these puppies for years now. What does that even say? I mean, the hot glue's still holding up, so that's good. Did it. Huh, it looks like someone's already made refuge here. And they have a shower stool. Five minutes have gone by, so we're gonna go look for him. I know he went that way, so I'm just gonna start. I'm sure she'll find me. Hope I find one. Oh, oh, I found one! Wow, okay, so they do kind of work on like the really sandy bits, but like on the rocks, there were nothing. Okay, so he must be around here somewhere now. Okay, so he either went that way, or he went up towards the weird ball thing. So I'm gonna look at the ball thing first, because I want to find out what that is anyway. <sighs> Sorry, I got cold. Where the heck are they? Kind of worried, because if we don't find them, we kind of can't go home. Because he has the keys to the car. This is really scary. Riley, are you up here? Oh, it's I found these clothes. Maybe... Oh, God. These are so gross. These look like they've just been sitting out here for months. Well, if they keep me warm, I guess. I think I just killed him. Oh, I'm just gonna sit on my little stool. I hope Tori finds me soon. Roger, where'd you go? It's really late, but you got so cold. The things didn't work. I don't know where you are. Robbie, where are you? Oh, where he is, man. Okay, well. It's starting to get cold and dark. Where the heck are they? It got really dark, and it's really cold outside. So I'm just gonna sit in the car and just hope that he comes back. Okay guys, it's getting pretty dark now. Waiting here for about three hours. I think that Tori might have <laughs> headed back to the car, but I don't know where I parked. I should probably try and head back now. I just can't seem to find where my footprints are. This was such a bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and wear these and wander into the desert and after five minutes, she's gonna try and find me. It's really late, but you got so cold. The things didn't work. I don't know where you are. Robbie, where are you? Oh, where he is, man. It's starting to get cold and dark. Where the heck are they? It got really dark and it's really cold outside. So I'm just gonna sit in the car and just hope that he comes back. Okay, guys, it's getting pretty dark now. Waiting here for about three hours. I think that Tori might have <laughs> headed back to the car but my footprints are. This was such a bad idea. <sighs> okay guys, it's the next day. Uh, I slept on this chair. It wasn't very comfortable. I was waiting for Tori all night and I couldn't find her. And uh, I, I didn't, I don't know where she went. It was actually really windy last night and it blew away all my footprints. So I can't see where my footprints went. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep wandering the desert until I find some form of civilization. just remembered that I have my fanny pack on me. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see what I have in there. <sighs> oh, I have snacks and craft supplies. So many craft supplies. <gasps> Matches. 
<gasps> I remember these. Okay, so this one looks pretty simple. We just need some matches and our trusty hot glue gun. Take one of these boys out. Put like a good glob on there. This looks about how much they use in the video. Oh no, I got some on the little tip. I'm gonna do a couple of these and see if it works. Ow, 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 ow. How do I always burn myself with this shit? So you basically have to hold these until they're done drying. So that's kind of annoying. And one more for good measure. No, I dropped it on my hot glue gun. Ow! I thought you were dry, but you're not. Now, just for authenticity of the video, we're just gonna... Oh no, my glasses! Let that glue get nice and hot. Oh wow, it actually melted it. That's kind of cool. Then we go ahead and put it like that. I feel like hot glue isn't really gonna hold this together, but it might. You never know. I definitely think that super glue would do a better job than this. Oh, I got a little straggler right there. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. No, stay on. Okay. No fucking around. I have to stay still until this is done cooling. Oh man, my nose itches. Oh, so one didn't do it. Let's try another one. Whoa! What was that? Woo! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! It lights the hot glue on fire. That is so scary. Maybe this one will work. I did also melt the plastic on the sunglasses, so that might help it a little bit too. So far, so good. Oh man. Uh. Okay, so I'm, I, I think that this one definitely doesn't work as well as you think it would. As well. Okay, so I'm just gonna light this match right here and put it on the googly eye. Oh my god! Ow, oh, that burns! Ow! No, I need I need this to work. Okay, get it all over that googly eye. Yes. <sighs> He's perfect. I've made a friend, someone to keep me company. I made it home. I made it home. Tori Debranski? Yeah? Where have you been? How did you, how did you make it home? I got an Uber. Oh. Maybe I should have tried that. Well, I'm gonna go make some more crafts now. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, bye. I have so many more crafts to make. I'm sorry, glue gun. I'll never leave you again. What? Really, you're gone all day, and the first thing you do is make out with your glue. I gun. missed my crafts. Oh, you don't even miss me. So, my last glue video, I actually used wax paper instead of parchment paper, which is what I was supposed to use. So, we're actually going to use parchment paper this time. God, all I hear is kids outside having fun. Who told them they were allowed to have fun? Just kidding, kids, I love you. Uh, I don't love you. Wait, that this sounds weird. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay. Doesn't seem to want to stay down, so we're just gonna tape it. Zoom this in a little bit so it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So fly swatter, fly swatter. We gotta think like the fly. So a little cross hatch like that, a little cross hatch. So I always have this problem where the freaking glue stick gets too short to actually use it, but if you put a longer one, it doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna try maybe getting it hot and then sticking it to the last one like this. I don't know, maybe that'll work. You know, hot glue really is a fickle bitch. I think I gotta let that heat up a little bit more. You can do it, hot glue gun! I believe in you! Okay, what the heck is going on with this? thing. Work! Maybe I have to try and get the old glue out of there because it's not working. Oh, got it out. I'm just gonna have a bunch of these half ones laying around from now on. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, this works so much better. I think it just gets stuck and then it's like, nope, I'm good. I feel like this handle is gonna be so floppy. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this handle off. That way I have a better grip on this fly swatter than I have on my life. Empty it all out on there. Reinforce the outside a little bit. Let that... I touched it! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, let this cool. So it looks like this is... Oh my god, this did not stick at all to the parchment paper. I was so wrong about using wax paper. This this works so much better. I'm really not sure how to feel about this fly swatter. It feels kind of floppy. I feel like it wouldn't be that effective against a fly. Let's try this in a real life scenario. I'm looking for flies. Where are those flies? Smack! Die, fly! Okay, I need to find a good fly. Are you a fly? No. Fly, I got you! 
Fly swatter! What is this? This is a fly swatter. It's not working. Isn't oh. that good fly swatter? Robbie, I don't think you're gonna kill anything with this because like a fly can just fly through it. Are you sure? It looks so deadly! Swat! Swat! It's definitely not flopping off. Oh, sorry guys. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'll see you later. Okay, so I got my lighter, I got my hot glue gun. Let's try this. I feel like this is just gonna mess up my lighter a little bit. So I'm just putting it all over everything, just like how they did in the video. Oh man, this is a disaster waiting to happen. I wonder if this is reusable. Can you like take this off and then use it again to like make it waterproof? That would be kind of cool. Now we gotta let you dry. This guy's nice and cool now. Let's try it with water. Gonna go ahead and dump that in there. It does kind of float a little bit, so that's cool. I think it's because there's like oxygen and air in there and then also the butane is also lighter than the water, so it floats. That's nice and submerged. Just for fun, let's put another lighter in there. This one doesn't have the hot glue on it. See, they're both just kind of floating in there. I feel like that's been long enough. I let them drip dry a little bit. So we'll try this guy first. Not a flame in sight. We gotta peel it off. Oh, okay. Come on. I feel like this hot glue is gonna be kind of hard to come off. It came off pretty freaking clean though. I'm not sure if I'd wanna put this back on. I don't think this would make it waterproof. Oh, <laughs> time to try it. Oh, <gasps> it works! Okay guys, it's time to do my nails! I'm gonna be really honest here, I don't think I've ever actually done my nails before. So, uh, there we go. That's one, that's two. Do you guys like my nice hot pink nail polish? I bet I'm gonna get so many beauty gurus commenting on this like, You did your nails wrong! And I don't fucking care. They're good enough. I mean, I don't think they turned out too bad. Like, they look better than how my sisters used to do their nails. I just have like these man hands and these fucking pink nails now. Never in my life did I think that getting a pedicure would be part of my job. Ooh, totally. You know how like they always comment on my fingernails? Maybe I should actually get a real pedicure. That way my nails don't look gross. Oh, you should. You should totally get a pedicure. Oh, we should get Maddie Petty! Wait, they don't see my feet. I don't need to do my feet. No one needs to see my feet. I don't want to put anyone through that. I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit. Then apparently we're supposed to blow one of these gloves up. Okay, this should be good enough. Cover the fingers in hot glue. I feel like this is gonna pop it. I think they used heavier duty gloves. How the heck do they get it so perfect? I bet I could make any of these hacks work. They just take a lot of f***ing time. Gotta reload my glue gun. Hot glue gun, glue gun. Gotta use my hot glue gun. Everybody's using a hot glue gun to take off their nail polish. I wonder what Rebecca Black is up to nowadays. You think she's still singing about days of the week? Dude, if you were just putting glue on your fingers like this, it would hurt so bad. I'm getting so much of this shit on my desk. No, I glued it to my desk. Almost done. I just have the thumb now. I guess you could say that I'm making the ah. I guess you could say I'm making the thumbnail right now. Ha <laughs> ha. I stole that joke from my girlfriend. She's a real funny person here. I have no idea how they didn't make a huge mess when they were doing this. Well, it looks like this hot glue is on my desk forever. Okay, so these bad boys seem to be cooled. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take them off without ruining them. Oh boy. I think they've melted to the glove. Oh no. Okay, there's a little rip in the tip of this. One down. Four more to go. This one's the most perfect out of all of them. Now for the thumb. Oh man, this is a mess. You can do it, thumb! I believe in you! Woo! Well, it looks like I don't need this anymore. And I just gotta shove some of this in each one of them. I have a feeling I'm gonna mix up which fingers these go on. Does it really matter though? I mean, as long as it fits, does it really matter? I'm guessing this is for my pinky because it's the smallest one. Put some rubbing alcohol on these bad boys. Rubbing alcohol is basically the same thing as a nail polish remover, from what I understand. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere! Oh, this smells so bad. I feel like this is gonna dry out my hands really bad. Just dab it in there, I guess. This is so weird. I'm glad I don't have any cuts on my hands, otherwise this would hurt so bad. Maybe a little bit more in this one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for 10 minutes and uh, I'll get back to you when we're done. Okay, our 10 minutes is up. Let's see how we did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's still there. And then it looked like they just wiped it off and it came off real easy. Whoop! Uh, it's not coming off. Maybe this one? This one's kind of coming off. I'm starting to think that rubbing alcohol and nail polish remover aren't the same thing. I'm gonna Google this actually. Are nail polish remover and alcohol the same thing? Acetone nail polish remover is usually made with isopropyl alcohol, but is a different because acetone properties in its solvent. Rubbing alcohol, molecular structure. It's not the same thing! Well, it looks like uh, I fucked up on this one, and I'm the one who has to suffer because
nails. I have pink nails now. Maybe if I just use a f ton of it, it'll work. Come on, alcohol usually removes everything, even clothes. Okay, that one's a little bit dirty. Tori, why'd you tell me to say that joke? You're a dirty girl. Well, I guess that's as good as we're gonna get for now. I could see this working if I actually use nail polish remover, so I guess we'll say this works. Next, we're gonna try and recreate the thumbnail. The only bolts that I could find were the ones that were on the trailer of my boat, so I'm gonna try and make something that will fit that. Okay, what size is this gonna be? Is it gonna be this? Oh, first try! So, I know to make it about that big. I actually don't have any wrenches about this size, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Google wrench, make it so it'll fit this, trace it, and then make a hot glue wrench out of it. Then we take our handy dandy hot glue gun, kinda try and outline that. Wait for this to cool. Now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife kit and make the proper shape of the wrench. And it looks like we are done. Time to test this puppy out. Okay, so before we actually try this one out, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the nut using this one and uh, show you guys that this does come off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. I'm gonna do it a little bit past hand tight. Now it's time to try our hot glue wrench. We got it on there. Now it's time to try and twist it. Nope, it doesn't have any kind of hold on this bolt right now. Maybe the other side? Uh, nope. So this, this is no use. This is so useless. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Javi, and today we are gonna be doing something that has been around longer than YouTube. Around longer than I've been alive. Wait, when was Bob Ross's TV show again? 1983. Yep, this has been around a lot longer than me. Today we're gonna be following a Bob Ross tutorial. This has been popularized by a couple of other YouTubers recently, like Jenna Marbles, aka the fucking queen of YouTube, and also my buddy Mac. I've made a video with him before. Oh my god, that's terrible! <laughs> Are you okay? Let's not talk about that though. And today it's my turn. But first, I'm gonna need the proper attire. Oh look, I finally changed my clothes after 10 videos. And we can't forget about the wig. Now we're talking. Okay, so first step. So I gotta look for a Bob Ross painting tutorial first. Bob Ross, Island in the Wilderness, season one. Sure, why not? I think that's the one that Mac did. And I'm an individual, so I'm gonna do a different one. Reactions of the calm. Yes, that seems good. I wanna react to calm. I love it. I love it. Bob Ross, you're so cool. Thank you. Too. No problem, Bob Ross. It's my pleasure being Bob Ross and painting with you, Bob Ross. Tell you what, let's start right off today and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't see most of these colors. I'm colorblind. And then I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. Liquid white? This oh, This is a wet on wet. So I gotta get my canvas? Only. My canvas is a lot smaller than your canvas, Bob Ross. But you know, it's not the, the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. Anyway, we got our canvas, we got our brushes, got our paint. Let's do this! How do I open this? <laughs> okay, be good. Okay, my, do I need water? I need water, don't I? We got our water. What do I use this like a palette? I need a palette. This is gonna be our palette. Not palette town like from Pokemon, but that's our palette. So there we go. Tell you what, we'll start off today with a little two inch brush. Two inch? There we are. I got this. Oh, sh this is three inch. Uh, well, I mean, it's what we got. Just making little X's, just little crisscross strokes. Oh God, oh no. I'm mixing with the liquid white that's already on the canvas. Wait, already on the canvas? Oh no, I fucked up already. Little X's. Yeah. Let the canvas work for you. Allow the colors and the paint, everything to work together to make it easy. Maybe I'll use this one? Oh God, this brush is so old. This is so stressful. Bob, calm down. Why are you going so fast? Maybe I have to cut these, make them a normal brush again. Do I have to do it as fast as him? Little X's. This is a painting technique that you can do. There's no big secrets here. No big secrets. Bob Ross is not part of the Illuminati. Or is he? There, so let's pull from the outside in. Outside in, okay. Oh, sh I think I fucked up again. No! A little Prussian blue. Prussian blue is much, much... Sharper. I only have one kind of blue! So maybe I'll use a little bit of purple. Purple and blue are kind of the same color, right? A beautiful blue. Let's take a little of that, and right up in the corners, I'm just gonna add a small amount of the Prussian blue. Oh man, this That's is really all there is to it. Wait, and then I take the same blue. Already. Oh, just a little bit in the corner. Just blend that color till it's nice and smooth. Yeah. That comes the most fun part of the whole technique, and that's washing the brush. Wait, I wasn't supposed to wash the brush yet? This is where I really have a good time. This is where I really have a good time. We wash our brush with odorless paint thinner. Okay. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. 
<laughs> and lizard crimson. Lizard crimson. I'm guessing that's a red. And my paint very dried up. Wait, go back. What? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Black? I need black. I don't have black. Can take a little bit of this purple. Yeah, sure. That looks pretty good. We just wiped the knife on a paper towel. Paper towel? Oh shit. Got the paper towels. I do have some of this white, but it's clothing paint. Oh my god, where do you get that scrapey thing? What is that scrapey thing? Cut across the paint. What? And get a little roll that lives right out of the edge of the knife. Okay. I need a knife? I need a painter's knife? Uh, let's see. The only knife I have is this one, so I guess I'll use this to paint. Uh. <laughs> I think this little mountain lives in your world. Wait, so I'm supposed to mix it like that? Wait, how do I do that? Bob, wait, you're going too fast, Bob. A little bit of black. So I need black? I want to make a, a dark lavender looking color. Very dark. Very, very dark. Maybe this dark will do okay? Holy sh**. And get a little roll that lives right out of the edge of the knife. A little, wait, go back, a little roll? And get a little roll that lives right out of the edge of the knife. Okay, a little roll that lives on the edge of the knife. Put a little white with that. I'll make a distant mountain first. Wait, a little, a little what? mountain that lives far away. Oh my goodness. I gotta add white? Wait, do I add the white or not? Bob, you're confusing me. Okay, so little mountain. Wait, so how did you do that? Oh my goodness, Bob. Okay, up like that. And then Painting is a very individual thing. We all see nature through different eyes. Yeah, I could definitely see a mountain looking like that. And your brush strokes will create the illusion of highlights and shadows. Like that? Maybe with some white mountain tips. I think I did that wrong. Oh no. Can we go back to the solid dark color? Wait, was I supposed to go back over this with the paintbrush? Bob, how are you doing this? Okay, so like that maybe? So, it's that easy. Wait, it's just that easy. Painting should make you happy. You should enjoy it. I, I love this, Bob Ross. I am having such fun time. Oh my gosh. I'm a little stressed out though. Some of them in their 90s. They tell me they never believed they could paint. And they've tried this and it's worked for them. Whew, I think I need more paint. Now, sometimes. Hey, you want, let's get crazy today. Let's get crazy today? Bob, you want to get crazier than we already are? It's fun to take and reflect a mountain right into the water. Oh no, so I have to recreate this? You're not too worried about it being exact. We are having so many camera difficulties today. This is the third time I've had to restart everything and now I have a whole other camera because this one up here was being dumb. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we're gonna try and continue this for Bob Ross. Okay, so before we go any farther, I just wanna say a big old shout out to uh, Keith. Happy birthday, man. Keith's been a big supporter for the channel for a sec, uh, and I just wanted to say happy birthday. Thanks a bunch for helping me, man. Also, my buddy Adam for helping me through the year. Uh, you guys have been awesome, along with, you know, the almost half a million of you guys. That is so insane. As of yesterday, my video is over half a million in less than a day. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. I really am happy you guys are enjoying my new stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going <laughs> on this Bob Ross. Happy accidents. My mom told me I was a happy accident. I think I might have made my tree a little too big. Okay, so I, I guess this is a good uh, time to stop. Uh, so this is my painting. This is how it turned out. <laughs> So uh, that's his painting, and this is mine. Ah! It turned out okay, not bad. Um, I mean, considering I used a Bowie knife to do most of this, I, I think it turned out pretty good. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Javi, and a few videos ago, I showed you guys my bathroom. Why well, isn't anyone talking about how dirty this sink is? Just to get a toothbrush, it's red. Does anyone think his house is messy? Like, if you agree, instead of making videos, <laughs> please clean up your house. Your sink and your bathtub wall is so dirty. That's a dirty sink. Why is the bath so dirty? And a lot of you guys said that my whole house is a mess. Guys, my whole house is not a mess, okay? Look at this. Does this look like a mess? Does this look like a mess? My garage, does that look like a mess? Even my room, does my room look like a mess? I don't think so. Lonnie, what do you think of the bathroom? Ah, uh, your bathroom is, can I curse by the way? Your bathroom looks like absolute shit, Robbie. I mean, it's really bad. I know it's really bad and we really <laughs> should clean it, but it's just so gross. You know, some days it's okay, some days it frightens me. I feel like it's past the point of no return, so neither of us have really bothered to clean it. Or show them my room either, because then they're going to think that the bathroom's all me and it's not. I'm going to show them your no. room. Oh, I wonder why my bathroom's so messy. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is how I clean. I put all my clothes on the floor so I know to hang them up. So today, we're doing some bathroom hacks. So yeah, this is my bathroom. Let's see what our first hack is. Okay, looks simple enough. So I got my dustpan, 
got my bucket. Let's see if I can do this like a real boy. It doesn't reach. It kind of works. It's working. I definitely think this would have worked better if I had a longer handle or a different sink. But overall, I think it works. Woo! So I have to admit, this toilet is pretty fucking gross. So let's see if uh, putting coke in your toilet will actually clean it. Oh my god, this was an awful idea! Holy sh! Why did I do that? Okay, I just made a huge mess. That was an awful. It's all over my camera now. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. You got the. Oh no! Ah! Why am I? Do Why am I doing it like that? Swoosh it around the toilet just like that? God, this looks so bad right now. I wonder how long you're supposed to let it sit for. It's all over my wall! I'm gonna let this sit for a sec. 20 minutes later. Okay, now it's time to flush this baby. <laughs> I don't think it worked very well. <laughs> well, since it didn't work with Coke, maybe Pepsi? I'm not shaking this one this time. Oh, don't explode on me. No, why is it exploding still? No, stop. I'm watching you, I'm watching you. I literally feel like I'm just flushing money down the drain at this point. Eh, might as well. No, 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 I don't want it. No, 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 no. This is a real hundred dollar bill. Why would I do that? I'm gonna go ahead and wash that off really quick. Okay. <laughs> Gotta let it dry. <laughs> Who do you think I am? You think I have that much money? This is all my money right now. I did it twice, once with Coke and one with Pepsi. It didn't work! It doesn't work! We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be first. <laughs> Okay, so this isn't really rusty. It's more just like pretty fucking filthy. Uh, so we're just gonna see if ketchup works on this. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks so bad. Put a, plenty of ketchup on there. Hopefully it works. Oh, sh I forgot to grab something to scrub it with. Okay, uh, this should be fine. Scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. This is disgusting. No, it's getting everywhere. No. Get back up there. I just need, no, I need to keep using this. Gotta keep scooping it up. Maybe, yeah. I can feel it. I can definitely think that this is gonna make it cleaner. I mean, who wouldn't? Look at this, it's perfect. Okay, so now we just let this sit for 15 minutes. 12 seconds later. Okay, time's up. Now it's time to see if uh, this is clean or not. Let's see. Oh, wow. Holy I am kind of impressed. I mean, besides ketchup being all over it now, it looks pretty freaking clean. I'm gonna say this works. So apparently I need a clogged drain for this one, but as you can see, my drain works perfectly fine. So what am I to do? <gasps> I have an idea. <laughs> okay, I think uh, that's 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 good. Let's try and unclog this baby. Okay, so apparently the first thing we needed was soda, so um, I guess. Okay, uh, that doesn't look like it did anything. Maybe the vinegar will do something. Here's our vinegar. Oh, man. Oh, God, I hate the smell of vinegar so much. This smells so bad. Okay, just put that there. Now we got our hot water. Is it doing something? <gasps> Is it going down? Is it fixing it? Nope, those are power tools in the background. That wasn't the, the drain clogging. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna say that this one doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for the part of the video where I try and recreate the thumbnail as good as I can. Uh, here we go. So here's some soap that uh, I wrapped rubber bands around. I tried to stay true to the color palette uh, that they had in their video. Anyway, here we go. I can't really think of anything that you would use these rubber bands for except maybe grip so that you don't drop the soap? <laughs> I don't know! Well guys, I'm gonna be really honest. I don't know how to feel about this. I kinda like where my toothbrush is already, but for you five minute crafts, I'll try it. So it looks like I just gotta cut a little bit of a Coke bottle up, 
like this. Okay, that doesn't, that, this was not too bad. And then again, like that. There we go, that looks classy as fuck. And then we're gonna grab our trusty hot glue gun, put it on there just like that. Now I'm just gonna let that sit right there because you're a perfect little bean, aren't you? Ow! I just cut my tongue. Okay, now to grab Old Faithful. Perfect, looking great as always. Put it right there. I mean, it kind of sticks. Okay, and uh, it looks like it works. But uh, I kind of don't like it there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. There we go. Until next time, my sweet. Okay, so this is my faucet. It is uh, extremely dirty, as you guys can see. It is so freaking gross. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our toothpaste and I guess just put it on there like that. There's so much everywhere. The funny thing is, I actually did this video so I could clean my bathroom, but I might actually clean my bathroom after this video. Then we're gonna take the old Lucky toothbrush. Man, this thing has so many uses, I can't get over it. Never underestimate the power of your toothbrush, but always remember to replace it once every two months, because this stuff does get a little bit dirty, I will admit. Put a little bit of spit shine on there. <laughs> Yep, there we go. If my mom were to see my bathroom, she would probably spank me. If I were to see my bathroom as an adult, I'd probably spank me. Oh, haha, -ha, good as new. Put that baby back. Apparently, we just wipe it off when we're done, just like that. Oh, wow, that actually is pretty clean. Toothpaste, you can whiten teeth, you can shine my faucet. What can't you do? Ironically, there's actually toothpaste on here from before that won't come off. Definitely looks a lot cleaner than the rest of my bathroom. Let's just do a little before and after here. This is before, this is after, this is them next to each other. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this works. So apparently this huge mess of a sink can be all cleaned up using nothing but face wipes. We'll see about that. Okay, so we're just gonna start getting up in there. I mean, some of it's coming off. Dude, I don't even know what this red stuff is. I think this is all makeup, maybe? I'm not sure. I mean, it's kind of coming off, but I'm really gonna have to use some elbow grease. <gasps> what if we try the faucet technique? Uh, uh, uh. Break out the old toothbrush. I think it might be working. It's cleaning it. I think it's cleaning it. I definitely think that this made the sink a lot cleaner. I'm just gonna wash this off so I can use it for later. Oh, there we go, good as new. Wait, that reminds me, I haven't brushed my teeth today. Well, it's never too late to brush your teeth, I guess. Oh, I got some hair on my toothpaste. That's fucking gross. Oh yeah, my teeth feel so much cleaner now. Toothbrush, I love you. You taste a little weird though. <laughs> sink, as you can see, is a lot cleaner now, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this works. Just when I thought that toilets couldn't get any better, they do. I couldn't buy any spoons in my house, but I have a bunch of forks, so I actually found this one in the trash because I have so fucking many. We got our hot glue gun already. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it all up on this fork like that. I feel like it should work the same way potentially as a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that right out. Burn myself again. Cool, it just misses the toilet paper, which is perfect. Okay, I gave this a sec to dry, now to try it out. Holy shit, it's actually fucking working. I thought of another use for it. Boom, toilet paper holder. I don't even need this one anymore. This is all I need now. Perfect, I like this. Okay guys, I guess uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this. Do you guys like my pizza underwear? No? How about these pizza underwear? Oh, Where'd I put my phone? Dude, my thighs are so freaking white. Okay, so we're gonna play a video. Oh, PewDiePie, there we go. Wow, it, uh, it, this actually kinda works. Felix, shut up. I'm talking, I'm making my video now. Wow, this, uh, this actually kinda works. It's a little gross though, because now my phone has been where my ass is touched. So that's a little gross. Huh, okay, well, uh, I guess I might as well try it. Just slip that right on there. Perfect. I don't think anyone is gonna come in. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Let's do the bathroom. Oh my God, there's so much shit in here now. Why are you wearing two pairs of underwear? Uh, uh, it's a long story. Why, why the fuck are you wearing a clown mask? Why not? You get up at the pee. Oh, uh, yeah, can we? Why is there ketchup? Bathroom's all yours, sorry. No, that, yeah, that, we just have to open, that's what we use to open it now. That's where you, I keep the toilet paper now. Is that gonna come off? No, it's, it's glued yes. on. Don't, don't take it off. That's where it lives now. You should replace it with this knife. 
Uh, that's very dangerous, Tori. Please get out. Oh, sorry. To tell you the truth, guys, I don't know if I can make my toothbrush better than it already is. But Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. Put it right there on the handle. And then we get our bendy straw. Glue on this little bendy part. And we snip these little bad boys off. I don't know, I feel like this might get in the way when I'm brushing my teeth. Let's go ahead and try it. I mean, it's kind of hitting me in the face. It definitely pokes me a little bit, but it is on the bendy part, so maybe I could bend it out. Oh, I can use it to pick my nose while I'm brushing my teeth. Oh, yeah. Get all up in there. Oh, wait. That's about to go in my mouth. Oh, no. Okay, now time to rinse. Oh, some water's coming out. Uh, it actually worked. It actually worked. Well guys, I guess it's time for me to put some shaving cream all over this mirror. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Shaving cream all over my mirror. Okay, now how am I supposed to clean all this up? Uh... Oh no. You guys would not believe how many paper towels I go through for each one of these videos. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's looking a lot cleaner. Now it's time to turn on the shower. Well, I mean, there's no need to waste a perfectly good shower. Oh, oh yeah, I've needed this for a while. I got one of these cool shower heads that comes off. I'm singing in the shower. Whoa! You know, I haven't washed my hair in a little while. Just gonna get some shampoo. Yeah, just do that little part. No one sees the rest of it, so it doesn't really matter. The shampoo's on my eyes! I've also been wearing these clothes for a long time, so I might as well wash them, I guess. Starting to fog up my camera. I think that's enough time to say that the mirror's fogged up. Let's let's see how it's looking. Okay, so the final verdict. It looks like the mirror still kind of fogged up a lot. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Javi, and today's video is sponsored by me. It's sponsored by my merch. Yay! Did you guys know that I have warm, cozy sweaters like this Peace Love Wi-Fi sweater? Nope. No? Well, how about, did you know that it also comes in a shirt? Nope. You didn't know that either? What about, one second. Did you know about my Robbie Epic Sauce cartoon t-shirt? Nope. nope. No? What? How about, uh, how about this off dad t-shirt? What? You don't like profanity? Then I have a better option for you then. How about this pizza shirt? This seems pretty cool, right? Nope. Oh, you want more pizza t-shirts? I got more. Oh man, now that's what I'm talking about. The Robbie all over pizza pizza. <laughs> This is the shirt that I wear in every single video. It's my Pizza Pixel shirt. This is actually part of my merch, if you guys didn't know that. And I got one more for you guys. Isn't that so cute? And one more thing while well, I still have you here. I also sell stickers! Anyway, link to all the stuff down in the description down below. I'm gonna continue with the actual video now. I will see you guys in a sec. Ah! Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun, delicious cooking hacks. Wait, what is this video even called? 20 crazy but delicious cooking hacks by 5 Minute Crafts. Let's do this. Yeah, I should really learn how to actually play guitar sometime. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a doozy. I don't have a mixing bowl, so I'm just gonna use this pot that I have. Here's the heavy whipping cream. And the only activated charcoal I could find was in this pill form. It's gonna be a little bit weird because they're in capsules, so I have to bust them open. <laughs> and then of course, we can't forget our sugar. I don't have one of those fancy automatic blending whiskers like they have in the video, but I have a regular whisk and a drill. So maybe I could make something work out of this. Okay, maybe put that, no. Oh, I have an idea. Holy sh it broke my saw. I just gotta fix this really quick. Great, now I'm getting metal shards everywhere. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Will that fit in here now? Aha! I did it! Yeah, I think that'll do. Wipe away all the metal shards. We go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream. They didn't say exactly how much to add. Same thing with the sugar. I don't exactly know how much to add to this, but I guess I'll just put a fuck ton because sugar is delicious and awful for you. Wow, that is very heavy cream. Now we're gonna bust open some capsules, I guess. This is so odd. What even is this stuff? It literally doesn't taste like anything. This bottle was also very expensive. This was like $8. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to add, but I think this should be enough. Okay, now it's time for us to try our contraption. It's working pretty good. Oh man, please don't get everywhere. 
Yeah, I definitely don't think that this is enough charcoal. A few more palettes. Give us a little mix. Okay, it still doesn't look as dark as the video, so we're gonna go ahead and add even more activated charcoal. My hands are getting so dark. What does activated charcoal even do? Is this like safe to eat? Okay, now it's time for the scary part. Okay. This stuff literally has a warning label on it not to touch it. You know how hard this shit is to find? I had to go to four different stores just to find dry ice. Apparently you're supposed to crumble it up. I'm kind of scared of this stuff. We'll get a scoop of this and put it in there. Oh man, it's boiling. Oh wow, what even is going on with this? Like how would you even measure this? Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. What even is going on here? It looks like I'm making fucking magic. It's like a boiling cauldron or something. This is getting everywhere. Can you die by eating dry ice? This is definitely looking a lot like ice cream now. I'm gonna go ahead and Google really quick and see if you can eat dry ice. Making ice cream with dry ice. Oh, so this is actually a thing. Okay, so after this it says I'm supposed to put it in the freezer and let it sit for a sec. And uh, into the freezer you go. Now I gotta worry about this mess. Perfect, we're all good. Okay, scary ice cream. I hope you're all done. Oh god. Okay. Stay. Okay, hopefully this isn't dangerous anymore. Wow, it's almost like normal ice cream. I am great at scooping ice cream, I'll tell you what. Comparison test, this is theirs and this is mine. Okay, now uh, let's see how it tastes. Okay, this looks pretty good. That's actually pretty good. This is some of the best ice cream I've actually ever had. I don't think I've ever had fresh ice cream like this before. Tori, get down here and try some of this delicious cream. Oh my God, Robbie. I know, I got you it You got it everywhere. I know. Is it Tori Dabransky approved? It is Tori Dabransky approved. Woo! Okay guys, so we got our orange. We got our knife. Go ahead and cut some of this off. Here's our balloon. Oh boy, I don't like the sound of popping balloons. Oh god, why isn't it popping? It's not working, what the heck? I wonder what's up with that. Just gonna rub it all on there. <laughs> why isn't it working? You put the whole orange peel on there. What the heck? I don't know what's going on with this. Why isn't it working? I'm gonna go get a fresh balloon and see what happens. Okay, so we got our balloon, we got our orange peel. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, oh my god, it worked. Oh my god. It works. Oh my god, I'm shaking. It works, guys. <laughs> okay, so this one looks easy. We got our Coke, we got our milk. Now we just gotta put our milk in our Coke. This seems like such a waste of milk and Coke. No, 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 why are you imploding? Why are you imploding? I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, I feel like th it's been long enough. Um, let's see how this smells. I feel like it's not gonna smell that great. It smells kind of like a root beer float. Should I taste it? I mean, it's just milk and Coke. What, what could go wrong? That was kind of gross. But it worked! Okay, so cutting board. Then we grab our apple and turn them into little spears. Gather these up a little bit. <sighs> that always happens when I do that. And I wasn't sure what kind of dough I was supposed to use, so I just bought pizza crust, because let's face it, pizza is the best food in the world. I'm not 100% sure how to open this. I think like that. Peel and press spoon here. Okay, that works. Get out of here, apples. So apparently then I'm supposed to make two even strips, kind of like this. I don't know what I was supposed to do with that. Just supposed to. I couldn't find one of those flour sifter things, so I just went ahead and bought a sink strainer. I'm sure it'll do the same thing, right? And we get our powdered sugar here. Pour it all in there. I think that's working. A little bit more. Why not? Okay, I think I might have put a little bit too much. Put some over here just to even it out, I guess. Same thing with this one. Here we go. Then I just go ahead and start rolling it like this, I guess. Oh no, I don't think this is working like how it's supposed to. Yeah, I'm sure this is fine. Oh man. I think mine look better, personally. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm gonna transfer for them onto the oven sheet. Oh, that's gross, that's a hair. Here's the other one. I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I mean, they don't look that much different. Oh boy. Yeah, it's like a, you know, it's special in its own way. Okay guys, now it's time to try these puppies out. I'm gonna go for this one because it looks like it's the most cooked. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'm starving, so it doesn't taste that bad. It's kind of like an apple pie, only the crust isn't really that hard. I mean, 
not that bad. So I guess it works, kinda. Okay, so I got my bag, got my orange juice. I'm using Sunny D because Tori said that it doesn't matter if it's orange juice or not. We'll see. Open that up, put it in the bag. I think I might have put too much. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. Then I get my bag of ice. I put the juice stuff in here. I add the salt. I'm just gonna hope that that's enough. And then apparently I just mix the fuck out of it. Yep, my bag is leaking. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I think it's working. It's getting all over me! Ah! Okay, gonna open this baby up. What? Oh wait, no, it's it's just really cold. I think I gotta mix it. Maybe I need more salt? I don't know. Okay, I'm back with even more ice, and I'm gonna double bag this thing. Now we're gonna put our concoction into this bag. We don't need this one anymore. Now we add our salt to this bag. I'm gonna add a lot this time. I added about half of this thing, so maybe it'll work this time. I'm starting to think I should have went with the more expensive bags. Shake it, shake it, shake it! I think I've been doing that long enough. Let's see if it worked. Oh. No f***ing way. It actually works. It's frozen! It actually froze! I'm not sure what the science is behind this, but it actually f***ing froze. Now I have like Sunny D ice cream. This is so cool! Wow! It actually worked! Wow, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. So the first thing you do is you get a proper mug. I kind of like this one. It's metal and uh, it's perfect for the any apocalypse. You get your hot water and you put it in there. Oh no, that's steaming you up. I'm so sorry. Next, we're gonna make our hot cocoa. I'm gonna use the pre-packaged hot cocoa. Uh, mine is most likely gonna have wabs. If you guys don't want wabs, feel free to click on that video. It's a tutorial on how to make some bomb hot chocolate by Yusaki Cooking. Uh, he's a lot funnier than me, so I understand if you guys stop watching me and just start watching him completely. Also, make sure to tell him that Robbie sent you and to thank him for fixing your wax. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Take our stencil, put it right there just like that. Use a little tape to hold that on. Then we're gonna use our sink strainer to sift the powdered sugar in. Maybe this will work. It didn't work at all. I'm gonna go ahead and use some ground cinnamon. Maybe that'll work better. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> it kind of didn't work at all. Man, I'm so good at this. I should just go to barista school, start working at Starbucks, quit my job as a YouTuber. Yep, if you guys don't hear from me after this video, that's what happened. So I feel like I was just too incompetent to make this work. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing some crazy pranks. Are you ready for this crazy pranks? Let's do it. Let's let's do this pranks. <laughs> Okay, so this one's very similar to the knife prank that I did a while ago. If you guys want to check that out, click right here. But it's basically the same thing, only with a screw. So I guess our first step is to break the screw in half. See if I'm strong enough. Uh, oh, man. I'm not strong enough to break it in half. What the heck? It just doesn't want to break. I'm bending it. Oh, I did it. I bent it in half. Oh no, it's kind of bent. That's not good. Well, good enough for government work. Dude, this looks so ridiculous. Well, uh, it's time to test it out. Tori, help me. I accidentally fell and I put a, a screw through my phone. Is that a worm? Is that a worm? No, it's a screw. Oh, it's a screw. I put a screw through my phone. Oh no. It went through my phone and, it, okay. no. Uh, oh wow, it broke off. Wait, you wait, fixed wait, it. Wait. No, Tori, we're supposed to make it better. Make my phone better. Look, it, it went through my phone. Oh no. What, why did you do this to your phone? I fell and it just, it protected my leg and I oh, fixed it for you. You fixed it, you're the best girlfriend ever. Thank you for fixing my phone. I love you, goodbye. Uh, do you want your screw? I fixed your screw too, it's, it's just, it's good as new. <laughs> you, can, you can keep this to remember me, bye. Uh, remember you, bad. what do you mean? Okay, I gotta go, goodbye. Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. All I gotta do is draw a line like that. I think it's more like that. So I gotta draw a line like that. Okay, easy peasy. Then I grab the card, and just go whoop, like that. I think that's how they did it. I'm gonna double check. Yep, that's exactly how they did it. Now let's go try it. Lock ourselves out. That seems pretty locked. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, 
I lost it. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh, I don't have my keys. Can someone let me in? Oh man, what am I gonna do? Oh. Trade. I tried to break into my own house and it didn't work. Breaking and entering five minute craft. Okay, so we grab our Snickers, then we gotta pound this baby. Okay, I think that's enough pounding of this Snickers. Okay, now we get our bowl. Snickers in our bowl. Oh yeah, that looks super appetizing. So, in the video, it looks a little different. It looks more like a Milky Way bar when they open it. Now we gotta pop this baby in the microwave for four minutes. Okay, time to get my dirty ass microwave for four minutes. A few moments later. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Dude, it only got to two minutes. Holy sh**, this is smoking up my whole house. Oh no. Five minute crafts, what is wrong with you guys? Oh my god. It said do it for four minutes. And there was like smoke plummeting out of the microwave. I'm sorry, I tore it. I just did it because Five Minute Crafts told me to. Just get, get out. out. Get out. Get, get out. out. Get, get out of my life. Get out. Get out. Get out of my life. So do you want to see the wonderful creation? No. Is it gross? Okay, and this is what we're left with. I think theirs looks quite a bit different than mine. Anyway, let's try to put it in this toothpaste tube. Cut that off. Oh, there's still a little toothpaste in there. Oh gosh. We got our four. Oh my god, that is so hard. Ugh. So we got our hot, creamy. Oh no, it's so burnt. <laughs> Get that, put it right in there. It doesn't look like it's going in as creamy smooth as the other chocolate did, but I mean, we're working with what we got. That seems like it's full enough. Uh, don't need that anymore. And I guess we just, uh, like they did in the video, just kind of tape that up a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks real secure. I feel like if the chocolate was all liquidy, it would seep out of that. <laughs> so we open up our toothpaste tube. <sighs> it's not coming out. <laughs> Guys, it's not coming out. What do I do? <gasps> I have an idea. Get out! I'm trying to exercise the Snickers! Dude, it is not coming out at all. Like, it does not want to come out. Uh, I'm gonna say that this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so we get our matches. I don't know why they spread them out like that. Oh, these are the wrong matches. This is my glue gun matches. Man, these really got me out in a pinch that one time. I'm really thankful for I'm these. Really thankful thankful for these. For these. Like this match right here and put it on the googly eye. Oh my god! Ah, that burns! All over that googly eye. Yes. <sighs> He's perfect. I wandered through the desert, cold and alone. No! I have to keep going for you! Then we pick out the best one. I choose this one. Don't need all of those. And then we decapitate it. Put that matchstick right on there. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Uh. There we go. Okay, now for the next part, poke a hole in it like that. And then I gotta make wings, I guess. It's kind of cool that they're showing us how to make bottle rockets out of matchsticks. This just seems a little bit dangerous for younger kids. It's like a little rocket stick. Okay, this looks like it's all good to go. Let's try it out. Maybe I'll do it down here and see what happens. And we're gonna light our match. Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay. It didn't work! What the heck? It just burnt through the aluminum. Yeah, but I was kind of excited for that one to work. Okay, so I remade it and we're gonna try this again. Let's hope it doesn't explode on me. It didn't work again! It did a little fart though. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's a cute little idea. I appreciate it. So I don't have any of those dowel things, so I'm just gonna use this chopstick and uh, pencil that I found. We get our string, cut, cut. Oh, that kinda looks similar to what they made. Mine's a little bit askew, but I'm sure it'll do just fine. Okay, so I got my sticks, but it's so cold out here. I wish I had a jacket or something to keep me warm. Oh my gosh, thank you! Is this a peace love Wi-Fi sweater? Oh my gosh, these are so warm and they're perfect for the winter time. Did you guys know that you could buy these? There's a link to all my merch and also stickers down description down below if you guys want anything. Okay, so let's try this bad boy. Yeah, get it nice and soapy and wet. I think it might be working. Ready? You ready? Oh no! 
Oh no! Whoa! Oh, it worked for a second! Oh! It! <gasps> it kind of works! Wow, that's so cool! I'm gonna go get more soap. I'll be right back. Ugh, I can't put all that soap in there. Get it all bubbly. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. No, now it's too soapy. No, come on. Too many bubbles on the top of it. Little bubbles, why you gotta do this? <laughs> bubbles, <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> you bubbles. You! I think I did it. Nope. Wee! I did it! There's a giant bubble! It works! Guys, it works! It actually, oh, it broke. But it works! Do you guys like this blue background? I put it here because my desk is just so fucking dirty from all these crafts I've done. So this is uh, the new backdrop from now on, I guess. So we're gonna get a little bit of wax paper. We're gonna draw ourselves some vampire teeth. Grr, I'm going to suck your blood. That's the right shape, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Making myself some sick vampire tea. There we go. Then we gotta let these dry for a little bit. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Peel that off. Okay, oh, yeah, not bad. Let's do another one. Okay, now we let that one dry. Now this one looks done. Peel that off. Yeah, these kind of look like vampire tea. Then we just grab our glue gun and we put three little dots on there. Hold them together. Just like the video. Now it's just sandwiched together. And these are my new fangs. Now it's time to test these babies out. So I'm supposed to just slide them onto my teeth like this? Uh, uh-huh. Uh, I think I might have done this wrong. It's completely belted together now. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, I don't think I could sink my teeth into this. <laughs> oh man, that was dumb. I'm just trying to rip them apart now so that I can put my teeth onto them. Oh yeah. Grr, I'm so scary. I just gotta keep biting onto them. Okay, now to test this out on Tori. Tori, Tori, I have something to tell you. I've become a vampire. Wah-ha-ha. -ha. It's not even a porky, you're just holding it in your mouth. I'm a vampire. Wah-ha-ha-ha-ha. Why? Because I'm a vampire. Do you feel like one? Well, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. I got you. I'm going to suck your blood now. I think your teeth fell out. Oh, uh, those are, no, those are my real teeth. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, suck your blood. Suck your blood. Did you spit that out of my face. Did it work? Did that scare you? No, not really. <laughs> it didn't work at all. I made you think that I was a real vampire for a second, didn't I? Yeah, sure, Robbie. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today I have one question for you. Are you ready to craft? that this one works, that way I never had to pay for helium ever again. <laughs> Where the fuck did I put my funnel? So we get the funnel on the balloon, like that. Baking soda in. Wonder how much I'm supposed to add. Oh no! No, no, no! Baking soda smell bad? I really hope it doesn't, because I just got it all over everything. Oh my goodness. Let's hope I don't do that with the vinegar too, that would be awful. I've never had good luck with funnels. Ugh, God, there's baking soda all over everything now. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. I think. How much did they put in theirs? Oh, they did not put very much at all. Oh, man. This stuff smells so bad. <laughs> gross, 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 gross. Let's hope that this doesn't get all over everything. I'm gonna cry if it does. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Please don't pop. 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 I gotta get all the baking soda out. It's still in there. Dude, this is so scary. I wanted to pop and get all over everything. There's baking soda all inside of it. Okay, so apparently this is gonna float now. Oh my god. I know this is gonna smell bad. Please don't smell bad. Oh, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Now for the moment of truth. Is this gonna float? Are you ready? One, two. I feel so lied to right now. Are you saying I did all this work just to blow up one balloon? That was not worth it. What the heck? I thought it was gonna float. Lame, lame, lame. It did blow up the balloon though, but that's just normal science. I learned that in second grade. <laughs> So first step, we get our bottle. Yep, that's a bottle, looks good. Then we gotta ditch the bottle, and all we need really is this bottle cap. Now we stab the bottle cap. 
Okay, easy peasy. Have I ever mentioned to you guys that my friend cut off two of his fingers with this knife? I think it's been at least 10 videos, so I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to bring that up again. There we go. Yeah, sure. That looks uh, like how it does in the video. And we gotta make our weird lung flappy thingy. I don't know what the technical term for this is called. I think it's called a carburetor on cars, but I'm not sure what this would be called. This is the most complicated way of blowing up balloons I've ever seen. Don't need that anymore. We go ahead and tape this on. So we just tape it on like that. The other side. Woo, it looks like it's working. Oh wait, no, the flap's supposed to cover. So for the next part, it looks like I'm gonna need a soldering iron, but I don't have one. But I do have a screwdriver and a blowtorch. Oh baby, this is gonna be fun. We're just gonna heat this up. I hope this doesn't catch the paper on fire. Yeah, that should be hot enough to melt some plastic. Let's see, is it gonna work? Oh, that, that really worked. That definitely worked. Oh my gosh, yep, perfect. Okay, now for the fun part, and that's uh, trying to blow up a balloon with this thing. Oh my god, it's kind of working. Uh, kind of? Oh no, it ripped! Okay, I'll try it with another balloon. This is so convoluted. I figured it out! You just have to blow on it! Oh my guys! Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm gonna say this doesn't work, guys. <laughs> So for this next one, I'm gonna need confetti, but I don't have any confetti, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some out of these post-it notes. Man, I hate it when it does this. Okay, we got our confetti, then we get our balloon. Cut off part of that. Snip, snip. Come on. I gotta put this balloon on here. There we go. Tape it right on. Put a little bit of that in there. Oh, that's everywhere now. Yep, it works. Now it's time to test this bad boy out on Tori. Tori Dabransky! I have surprise for you. What do you have? Oh, it's scary. I have surprise. Do you want to see it? No, what is it? You ready? What is it? It's surprise. Does it hurt me? No, it won't hurt at all. Okay, you ready for your surprise? No, Robbie is ready. ready? <laughs> Your surprise is you get to vacuum later. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Did you like surprise? Not really. <laughs> it's everywhere. This made such a mess. How'd you do it? Did you just fill it with things and then you go boop? Yep. It works! It works, Tori! You can also use pencils in there. Oh my god, no. Here, let's do you have any? No, no. Let's fire a pen. Okay. Let's try it. Here, try launching it. Pull it in. It worked really good. <laughs> it was really fun. Good job. Good job. Woo, it works. Woo. So I think a good way to test this one is to get my water bottle, put some water in it. Good job. And if no water leaks out of it, we know it works. So let's try this. That didn't stay on at all. We're gonna try it one more time. Okay, I'm starting to think that I might actually have to get a mason jar. And we're back with our mason jar. This is my girlfriend's skull mason jar. Put the water in there. Awesome, the cup works. Let's hope it actually works this time. Nope. No, what am I doing wrong? Okay, so from the looks of it, I'm not supposed to release all the air from the top. I'm supposed to do it from the side. Oh, wow. It actually stayed on! Okay guys, now it's time for the real test. As per tradition, I'm gonna put it over my head and hope that it doesn't spill all over me. Am I good? Is it working? Oh my god, it's working! It's working! Woo! Guys, it works! It works as a real seal! You can use this as a real seal forever! And now my skull has a pirate hat thing. <laughs> it works! Woo! Okay, so for this one, I don't have a tub with a lid, but I do have a Chipotle cup with a lid on it, and I guess that'll be close enough. Put our glue in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's some good stuff. All done with that. Add a little bit of water. Oh, I think I added way too much. Well, I guess that calls for more glue. Oh man, yeah, I definitely put way too much water. I'm gonna go empty some of this out really quick. Okay, we're back. Poured some of the water out. I thought of a really good way of mixing it. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, gross. Now we put our string in. I already know that this is gonna get so tangled. I hope this is worth it. Just gonna put like a hundred feet in there. Few inches later. Oh, this is 
is getting so tiring. Oh my god, this cup of string has given me a great idea! Cup of spaghetti! Why did I never think of this? Oh wait, there's already something like that. It's called cup of noodles. Damn it. So much string, so little time. Literally have so much string in there that I have to put more glue now. Ugh. Okay, just like a toothpaste tube. Yeah, that should do it. Now that we're done with that, it's time to blow up our balloon. <gasps> That looks like a reasonable size. Put that through there. And now apparently you have a dispenser, like a Kleenex dispenser that dispenses glue string. Wow, this is actually kind of working. Oh man, it's get, starting to get so slippery. It is so odd how well this is dispensing. Okay, I will uh, show you guys this tomorrow when it's done. Um, ah! Okay, it's the next day. I actually ended up moving this thing outside of my room because it was making creaking sounds in the middle of the night and uh, we thought it was possessed by a demon. So now we're just gonna pop this bad boy. Oh wow. That is kind of cool. What the heck? Dude, it's like snake skin. That's actually so cool. And there's a lot of dried glue on it, but I could clean that up. This is so neat. It's like a string ball and it's so solid. Like I could probably squish it, but I'd feel really bad if I did. This looks very artisan-y, I guess you could say. I don't know. I'm not sure what the use of this thing is, but it looks pretty cool. So I, I guess I'd have to say it works. So this would look pretty easy. It's just me putting a bunch of toothpaste in balloons. Yeah, these videos are just getting better and better. I'll tell you what, guys. Quality content. That's what I make. Quality content. Can't go to any other channel to see, you know, someone filling a balloon with toothpaste. Except for 5 Minute Crafts. I guess you could go there. But uh, why would you? Because you could watch me instead. Sorry, 5 Minute Crafts. This is a little gross. I'm just filling this balloon with toothpaste. Oh, man. This is gonna get everywhere. I already know it. Get in there. Dude, I go through so much toothpaste in every video. Oh, boy. This this is so messy already. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out why you would want this. Oh, I could maybe see the appeal of this. Yeah, I could totally see maybe a little bit of appeal. Yeah, this is actually kind of gross. <laughs> it's like a stress ball. Does it bounce? I just feel like I have to wash my hands after this. I went ahead and washed it off because I hate it when stuff is on my hands. I know that stress balls are supposed to get rid of your stress, but I'm kind of getting stressed out just holding this thing. Anyway, I guess we can say it works. Okay guys, now it's time for the real stress test of the stress ball. I'm coming for you. Great, now look at this wonderful mess I get to clean up. Okay guys, now it's time for me to recreate the thumbnail. We got our balloon, we got our toothpaste. So put it like that. Oh no, it's blowing the toothpaste tube back up. Okay, I think this is gonna have to work. Okay guys, if you like the video, make sure you give a thumbs up. It looks like this fight right down there. If you guys wanna watch me fail at even more five minute craft, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing that. You think I'm joking? I'm being very serious. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here or down description down below. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again on Saturday. Peace, love, and bye-bye. Awkward ending? Okay, bye! Ah!